Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, March the 7th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. This is the email you can use if you have any questions for me. I know I keep saying this over and over, but uh, this is the link to get into the Omnovia trading room. In the email you get, you'll see the link to get into the new trading room. It will be definitely the new trading room. I shouldn't say definitely. I mean, there's, I guess, a 0.001% chance it won't be. Um, but it's looking really good. We're getting a lot of great comments about it. So I'm positive, fairly pos very positive we'll be moving. Um, I can't tell you when exactly we have to get a proper sign-up procedure into that room before we actually make the official switch so hopefully sometime maybe by the end of next week or the week after but anyway uh, right now i am having uh, both rooms open at the same time moderating both of them so but it makes a lot if, if you're in the omnovia room just come on over take that uh, click on that link uh, it's a great room i mean uh, the ptr room you can detach the chat you can zoom in um you know i mean it's and, and you see the same screen so why not move over all right uh, I open the rooms <laughs> at 9 o'clock Eastern time every morning and that's when I start to share my screen get live on the mic at 905 and go up to 330 Mondays Mondays or Thursdays and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays all right well nobody was thinking about anything today other than B P T H B P T H so if you whoops what did that happen well, that's a good, another good one, <laughs> BPTH. So, if you don't know what was happening with this one, um, look where this one came from. Eh, that was that was pre-market yesterday, and even even it was a couple of dollars even just before that. But this one, so imagine that four, and it hits seventy three sixty nine today. All right. I almost took this one in the pre-market at 15. I hemmed and hawed. It was sitting right at 15. The spread was good. I said, ah, no. How can I do that? You know, it already had a, a monster day yesterday. You know, I had a big monster day yesterday. And, but look at today. Now, it's been halted, you know, several times on the way up and several times on the way down. I mean, you would think this is over now. But, I mean, that was exciting to watch. So what I was saying in the room is, I don't know why this is happening. It wants to, I might have something that's, um, this might change automatically to ARQL if it keeps making a new high. I think I know what's going on. But anyway, SEAL was uh, somewhat interesting yesterday. I, I kind of, we kind of saw it. I know some people in the room saw it. And... I, I, I had it thumbnailed and it popped up a little bit in the pre-market and there I think there was some news some news on it I actually took this and I don't know why it is not showing interesting it's not showing I took this actually in the pre-market and lost a dime if you can believe it I got in at 240 right around here and I got out at uh, 2.30 and I said, well, I can always get back in. And it triggered for me at, believe it or not, way late. Well, not way late, but it was, uh, I got back in at 2.96 and I sold up at 3.30 and then down just over 3. And so that made, that really made my day because, you know, this, and why, why was I looking at this is because when you look at the float for seal, what we have is 805,000, okay, uh, shares, which is, you know, crazy low even if I know if you go to probably 10 different websites you're going to find 10 different float numbers but my thinking was that with the BPTH eventually you know but I thought maybe eventually would be here <laughs> eventually people would start to get out of this one and find another low float to get in this was another you know crazy low float we have 315,000 as the float so that was my that was my thinking on really why I was uh, wanting to get into seal was because I thought eventually people would want to, if they, the ones like me <laughs> and many, many other people who missed the BPTH would want to find another low float situation. And this is an IPO. If you look at the time at uh, the weekly, this is or daily chart. This is IPO, I think, uh, this day here. Uh, it's either an IPO or, or a new symbol or something to that effect. And it obviously has not done well, but trying to come back now. Now, the other one, and by the way, 
huge kudos to Martin in our room who usually identifies these these really low float situations early he was talking about bpth yesterday of course all day and he even said you know that he wouldn't surprise like yesterday he said this don't remember yesterday he said this it wouldn't surprise me if it gapped up to 30 when it did that he said well the next area could be 60 and you know it happened not in a very very short period of time but not not just because of this one martin in our room just has a knack for these low float uh, little usually they're little bios now granted a lot of times what he's doing is he he's he has a lot of patients i don't know how it doesn't really matter i don't know how many shares he's taking of these things but he'll be in you know several of them all at the same time and then one day one of them pops and you know that's where he can, certainly can make his money but you know you've got to for, for to, to do that you either have to have a you know a relatively a sizable account because a lot of times you're going to be sitting on dead money you know as you're waiting you know here you know for this to happen so you know you have to take that into account also and there's no guarantee that this will ever happen of course on any stock now the other one that he mentioned yesterday and this was triggering in uh, trade ideas uh, also today uh, was this one this dffn another low low float it did a reverse split a little while ago a million shares in the float and this time i did capitalize on this one for probably there we go uh, here here are the buys and sells very very quick trade uh, i got in at uh, i think it was five uh, 529 and out at 582 and you know that happened in uh, 30 seconds i mean when i got in it just roared higher and then i got out got out of everything so those two trades and this one may not be dead let's take it on the daily chart now actually let's take it on the weekly chart back this out a little bit more say this did a reverse split so it's up here at this level here so it's take what what this is back in this is uh, two years ago so you know whether or not this is going to be any support uh, resistance i don't know if there's any news i didn't even see any news didn't really matter another low float situation sort of banking on the idea that people will eventually be getting into the bpth and looking for another one to get into so I'm not saying this is going to do anything like BPD, BPP, BPTH did, but nonetheless, it was, a, it was an awesome play. And so kudos to Martin for yesterday bringing it to our attention. And then today it was triggering in-trade ideas. So that's about it. I can't wait to get back into the room. I only took the two trades, and that's all I knew, really needed to do. I mean, there were some other really nice ones. Kroger, I know some people took the Kroger. Uh, was watching this one. This was pre-market, okay? Look at the weekly chart. I kept saying this could be where it, it could get, it could find some support. And look what it did. There's the week. This is the weekly chart. Look what it did. It got right down to that area. Take a look at it on the 15 minute. So this is an earnings play. Big gap down. I kept saying, well, this could be the support area. This ended up being support. And then it, a lot of people took the bounce and uh, turned that turned into a very nice trade. Newt Nix from Holly was a very nice one. Holly was pretty inactive today, but this certainly was it was a nice one. Uh, the alert was at 34.65, and it hits uh, 30. It's a high of 36.23, so almost almost two dollars. The beautiful thing about that one was, if you look at the daily chart, you can see why. I, if I hadn't been so involved in those other, you know, the, the, the smaller these small float ones, I would have been probably all over this because this is the sort of daily that I like. Got absolutely hammered on earnings um, on the first first of March and so this got this massive potential gap fill again I'm not saying it's going to but you like you you, you like to think that okay there's 3675 and look what it got to it got up to 3620 not quite up to that area but that's what I like to see anyway on a daily chart uh, when I get an alert from Holly I just didn't act on it because again didn't have uh, I really had to follow the other ones uh, very very closely uh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, well, how can I have a weekly or a monthly chart? Uh, this build is not released yet. The build that has this is not released. I'm hoping that um, maybe sometime next week, because uh, I know a lot of people, they see my room, they see when you're in the trading room, they see I've got a weekly chart up and a lot of people want that. So hopefully next week. All right, I want to get back into that room. So let me bring back the capture program. And again, if you have any questions for me, just use this uh, email. Um, the link for the Omnovia room, the link for the 
I might, might even change this now. Uh, the link for the new room is uh, in this email you're getting. I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. So hope everybody has a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.